vaccine team. And as we're talking about COVID-19 <sighs> cases, hospitalizations, deaths in the U.S. are once again on the rise. On Friday, more than 600 new COVID cases reported right here in Georgia. That is uh, Dr. Carlos Del Rio speaking about this. Our Sabrina Silva joining us live from Atlanta Bay CDC headquarters. She's been following a briefing held by Emory on COVID concerns. Sabrina, what have you learned? Well, Karen, health experts are really stressing the need of getting people vaccinated, saying those who haven't received the COVID-19 shot are the ones that should be worried about this rise in new cases. New COVID-19 cases are on the rise in a number of states across the U.S., including Georgia, where cases have gone up a whopping 193 percent just in the last two weeks. Though daily cases are far below the pandemic's peak numbers, Emory University health experts are sounding the alarm as the contagious Delta variant spreads rapidly. Now, one infected person infects eight or nine people, which then infect eight or nine people. So that means the spread is much faster. The exponential growth is much faster. As for vaccinations, the country isn't moving as quickly as the Biden administration expected. Just under 49% of Americans are fully vaccinated. Here in Georgia, 39%. We did a very good job vaccinating those over 65, but as a young people who are unvaccinated, who thought, oh, this is no big deal, I'll get infected and that's it, that are now getting admitted to the hospital, getting admitted to the ICU, and they're dying. As the Peach State reopens, life can seem like it's slowly but surely going back to normal. But Dr. Carlos Del Rio says that's simply not reality. So more people have died in the first six months of 2021 than in the entire year of 2020. So one thing to remember is that the pandemic is not over. Now, in a recent report that was released by the CDC, we're learning that 100, more than 110,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been destroyed here in the state of Georgia for many reasons, not just a lack of demand. But we're learning that number. It may sound like a lot, but it is actually below the number expected by the CDC. In Atlanta, I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News.